it's me, Lisa, and you're watching Tell All Tuesday. It's January 29th, and I am feeling pretty tired right now, um, just in the last couple of hours. I've been getting tired earlier, and I've been getting up earlier, but the problem is, is that when I wake up, instead of eating and doing what I need to do, I get on the computer... And I kind of just sit there for like a couple hours that just fly by after, you know, checking messages on YouTube and Facebook and email and whatever. I really need to start my day, I feel, with with breakfast or my water and then my breakfast and whatever. And I mean, I haven't been feeling that great in the last like five days. So, so I've been dealing with this a lot. On the weekend, just on Saturday and Sunday, I totally fell off my water goals. <laughs> and that was a drink, 12 glasses of water a day. And you know, I got a comment by someone saying, Oh, you don't even need 8, why are you drinking 12? Let me tell you this. Sure, they say 8 is the minimum. Not necessarily true. But, <coughs> it's Canada, and it's naturally dry here in the winter. So, that already tells me I need more water. Two, I have dry lips when I don't drink enough water. So, that's a dead giveaway right there. Another giveaway is that I'm tired when I don't drink enough water. And I haven't drank enough water yet. Today has been lagging. I am all over the place because I'm so tired. I just want to get my workout over with and all my videos edited from the trip and... I've only got two out of like five or something edited plus, well four, plus I have to edit videos for a workout challenge I'm doing with one of my friends named Lara, Flitting Butterfly on YouTube. She's doing a challenge where you do 100 of one exercise each day for the next 32 days. Yesterday I did jumping jacks. Today I'm going to do bends, forward bends, I only have until March 1st, and the last video challenge will be put out on February 28th. Whew. Sorry guys, I sound weird, huh. just sick, or detoxing, both, <laughs> you think of it. That's funny, because I like, you know, I'm still eating some dairy and some meat and you know, more than some at times, you know, and yeah, it's all the water and all the exercise and and the raw food. It's great. I've been up in the vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin C. And my friend, TJ, gave me some deep lung cleanse, respiractin. It's been working really well to get rid of mucus. D drops, and actually the D I'm taking right now is Alpha. Omega Alpha, I mean. Vitamin D3. A natural pharmacist suggested that I take it by rubbing it on my skin instead of ingesting it. It's supposed to be drops for, like, food and juice and whatever. He said you don't necessarily absorb it as well, so just to do it by skin. So I'm like, okay, give it a shot. Well, most days it seems to work, but lately I've been really tired because my body is really trying to ward something out of it, I imagine. So I've been doing really good with my workouts. I've worked out. Today it'll be 16 days straight. Once I get off here, I'm going to work out. 16 days, even while sick. Even while away with the whole water thing. Wanted to do 21 days straight. Well... Got to about 13, I think it was, and to 14 and 15, got about 8 glasses in on both those days. Still good, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I did bad. I was really tired, I had a dry throat, just like I do right now, because I've only had one liter so far today, and it's been hours since I had my last water. My mouth was dry. Really dry, like my lips, like they are right now. So, that's how we know I need more water. 
You can't tell me that everyone's the same. And when you're sick, like I am, you want to drink more water, I imagine, so that the toxins flow outward, so they don't get reabsorbed into your body. I'm gonna do like I did last time. I'm gonna go through it quickly. I don't have what I ate in yet. What I ate the last couple days in here yet, but uh, I've eaten. I've drank lots of water. I've eaten Caesar salad with Renee's light Caesar dressing. In that salad, I had shredded carrots, baby tomatoes, cucumber, romaine lettuce. And then I had a half a serving of sweet potato quinoa mash, steamed Brussels sprouts, and steamed broccoli. And a handful of dried jackfruit. Vega Sports Protein Bar. Recovery, recovery chocolate coconut. So good. I also had a, sm a smoothie with water, coconut water, vanilla cultured coconut milk, frozen strawberries, blueberries, frozen banana, frozen acai packet, one fourth cup raspberries, one fourth cup cherries, one fourth cup green grapes, 14 baby carrots, 3 or 4 teaspoons of holy, guacamole, orange chicken, lean cuisine, Vega Sport Chocolate Savvy Seed Protein Bar, Vega One All in one nutritional shake, which is the powder and two cups of water. Raw raspberry applesauce, no peeling on the apple, and no digestive pain. Thank you. So I have trouble digesting the peeling on apples. There's red apples and a small container of raspberries, chopped up banana, and lots of cinnamon. Then on the side I had grapes and cherries. Also had a 12 inch turkey sub on whole wheat. With lettuce, onion, shredded cheddar mix, mayonnaise, and pepper. Half a serving of sweet potato quinoa mash, grape and cherry fruit salad. And in there I had vanilla culture coconut milk, green grapes, and cherries. Man, I was like, I'm going to have digestive pains, but I didn't. So that was awesome because I had those things in like one sitting. Two bananas one day, three quarters of a sandwich. This was at the his parent, his... Uh, Grandmother's, after his grandmother's funeral mass at the church, they had some finger foods out. and Well, I had a combination equaling three quarters of a sandwich. Ham, egg salad, chicken, roast beef. A few baby carrots, some celery sticks, a little bit of chips, and one small dessert square. I didn't get pictures for that stuff, though. Um, later on we went for supper at his parents and had spaghetti and her mother's, his mother's mother's sweet and sour chicken sauce. Wow, that was good. I had a piece of garlic bread, a small piece of meat pie, and a little later a small piece of butterscotch pie for dessert. And when we were on the road, I had, right before we left, I had fresh juiced OJ, cantaloupe, had a picture of that. I think I deleted it, weirdly enough. Banana chips, um, lots, not enough water. <laughs> and I had 500 milliliters of fresh squeezed OJ. One large smoothie with fresh OJ, bananas, cherries, and yogurt. A couple bites of garbanzo bean soup that Matt had. Battered haddock, french fries, tartar sauce, um, a scoop of Vega One after my workout, two cups of water, and Organic mango, large mushroom soup, freshly squeezed OJ, a little bit of salad, king size O'Henry, a little bit of ginger and carrot sauerkraut, a little bit of kimchi, and a cup of Annie's Real Cheddar Shells. How I felt throughout the week? I felt a sore throat coming on on Wednesday last week. A chunk of gunk came out of my throat, gargled with real salt once I woke up. I think I already read this part. I've got cysts on the back of both my ears forming, now they're crusting over. And getting itchy, so I imagine they're going away. I took astragalus for the first time and some vitamin C. I felt strong, sentimental, grateful, and irritated about people pushing their agendas um, on anything I'm doing, you know, pushing what they're doing, saying it's the way you gotta do it, you know, with regards to food and fitness and health. I'm doing what I'm doing, and it's working for me. I'm detoxing. I don't need to be. For my body, 
I don't need to be going extreme to detox. It's pretty darn obvious. So, it's working for me. I'm getting better day by day, getting stronger day by day, being more grateful day by day, just loving life. And so, for people to come around and be like, oh, you gotta eat this way, you gotta do it this way, you gotta do that. No. No one's gotta do anything. We just, you know, I imagine, well, at least for me, I listen to what's inside my heart. If something you say resonates, yeah, I'm going to take that and I'm going to run with it. Obviously. I imagine you'd do the same. However, if it doesn't resonate with me, I don't need to do what you suggest. I don't need to even think about it. That's my choice. And so, people need to respect that, especially on Best Way Less Facebook page. That includes for everybody, not just me. Some people aren't open as open and honest as I am, I imagine. So, they may not say that it bugs them that somebody's telling them that they're doing something wrong or that they need to do something different than what they're already doing. However, I can imagine that there are some people that keep that in. And I need to be the voice because I'm the admin. So, that's what I do. Here on YouTube, same exact thing. We're looking for support. I know I am. You know, I know others like to get suggestions, but they ask for it in their videos the ones that want them, so run with that. If you see somebody asking something, I imagine that's when it's appropriate to say, you know, this is what you should do. I don't know. I did my workouts. Whatever was going is going on with me here, the detoxing really started coming down Thursday. So it's been a little while. Um started to come down with something, phlegm and lungs, constipated, tired, took an Epsom salt bath with eucalyptus oil, helped expel some mucus, couldn't poop, pain and colon at the funeral home. I imagine if I rationalize it, that pain was from not wanting to be there because it brought up too much stuff from my past, my grandfather and dad dying when I was seven years old, um, and having to be in those places for those exact reasons. The church, the funeral home, just brought back a lot of memories. So, you know, I think I just really wanted to be home. Definitely have gotten worse over the few days with feeling the way I'm feeling. Yeah, I worked out or away. Just to keep help that helping that limp move. Went on the treadmill, the elliptical, so that was different. Didn't really walk like I wanted to. I wanted to do a walk vlog today, but I guess not enough because I didn't do it. So couldn't have been that important to me. I mean, I'm still working out, so what can I do? You know, I can't keep expecting too much of myself. Maybe that's what it comes down to. However, whatever, I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm, you know, getting a little discouraged at times, but I keep going. That's all that matters, because that's what's going to bring about change. And as long as it doesn't create greater stress, which it usually doesn't in the end, after my workout, it feels like the stress, is, the stress has subsided, which is amazing. So I'm very grateful that I've got the motivation to do this, and I hope you'll join and you'll feel strong, you'll feel happy and grateful for this journey that you're on and for the journey you're on with others, if you're on it with others. And if not, come join us, The Quest Away Less, here on YouTube and, and on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Namaste.